now we have completed uh, creating a project adding activities giving relationship between them now we have to make use of the revit model if we come back to the model in order to do a material loading into p6 from revit we have to do is a takeoff so revit has something called material takeoff now i have already done a material takeoff for columns walls now let me show you how to do a takeoff for our floors so let's come to schedule let's come to material takeoff let's go to floors what information do we need over here we need a level because we need to know the quantity by level and then we need material volume we need material say area if any want to know the square feet of the form work we need, you might have to take of the material area for that and then you can take let's say count we need to understand the count also and even take family and type okay now what information do we have over here let's go to okay so what information do we have we have so total 11 so it is showing total floor that is 11 floors from level 1 that is because it is taking slab from level 1 and then the lowest level that i have created was using a foundation slab so it has only created a schedule a take off for these slabs these floors so it is showing quantity of volume only for these ones if you can see it is also showing showing the area you can see 201 meter square it is also showing the volume for that similarly if i go for column take off you can see that i had grouped them by level so you can see at level 0 that is the lowest level we have total 10 count of column in length of individual is 4000 and the total volume is 10.033 meter cube so if you want to see what you can do is you come to group and sort you can click on itemize every instances you can see that the volume of individual column is actually 1.03 meter cube so all the columns at level 1 level 0 it is 1.03 meter cube so once we remove this itemized by instance it sums the volume of all the columns at that level so that's what you are seeing happening over here it is by multiplication of count of 10 you are getting the total volume at that particular level and same for material we are getting material volume over here so at from level 0 to level 10 you are getting total volume over here now we need to export this quantity so that we can actually take this material quantity into p6 so what we are going to do is we are going to come to export let's come down we are going to click export and report export schedule So the name is already flow material takeoff. Let's save. Let's keep it to default. Let's open Excel now. Let's go to next, next, finish. Now see, you see what have we can see the same what we were lo looking at in the Revit. so we have family and type we have the level showing up on the left we have the floor that is the family type 
we have the total area and then we even have the volume over here similarly we are going to do a take off and export the columns material and even the wall material now before doing this there's something we need to do in p6 as well let's come to p6 so when we come to resource look at this option and click over here i have my own resource tree over here so you can see that i have created a parent of all the labor resource so under this labor resource you will find all resource type labor under this so we have concrete mason carpenter steel fitter blockwork masons all type material are under this one and then after that let's scroll down now another material type i've created is material so all the resource type material are going to come under this resource tree so we have plaster paint block work rebar concrete and so on so hope you're noticing what i've done over here i've created a resource tree for labor type and i added all the type labor resource under that and then i've created the resource type material and then created a and added all the material type resource under that so i have a resource named concrete so let's come to activities so just for a sample what we are going to do is we are going to go to resource come to add resource and then we have we have concrete over here so we're going to add this assign this to the activity now you can see it is showing the budgeted units as 64 so that means that what it's trying to say that it has total 64 meter cube of concrete for this level but it is coming de on by default because if you take a look at the setting the default set here is 8 so 8 times the duration 8 it is giving 64 over here but we need to get the correct quantity inside so let's go to file uh, let's go to file let's export let's click on spreadsheet next and we need export only resource assignment the next next so we have to click on modify let's look at the information that we have over here by that's coming by default we have activity id activity status resource id we even have resource name over here have resource type budgeted units so i think we have all the information that we need and let's click on ok and go to next let's give it a location and export this mm -hmm. so this is what have been exported from p6 now what this is called is a template so in order to do a material loading into p6 using excel just for a sample you have to assign any resource the resource that you, you are going to load say if this was cost you could have assigned this slab by the cost resource and then you could have exported that or if you were say for example trying to load a block work quantity you could have assigned a block work resource to that activity and then you could have exported that would have give you a template to create and do a cost loading for that particular material or cost so that is what that is the process to do for material or cost loading in p6 so we have all the information we need we do not need role id cost account id let's delete this now 
Now, if you see the quantity exported from here is 64. And then when we look at the quantity that has been exported from here, it is it has this meter cube showing over here. So we need to remove that. So let's control C, control F, cube, let's replace. Okay, close. Now from level one to level 11. So let's come to P6. Let's copy all the slab activities. Let's copy this. Blank sheet open. Now the only information we need over here is now the only information we need here is the activity ID. Now, if you if you remember what I had said earlier was that the first slab activity that is the lowest slab that is the foundation slab over here, and that that this foundation slab over here, but that quantity did not get take off in this floor material takeoff that we did so what we are going to do is let's copy all the activity id let's paste this another thing you have to do is so if you see there's something weird over here there's some gap over here okay so let's remove this gap Let's replace so all the spaces has been removed let's copy this status let's copy the resource ID let's copy the resource name let's copy the resource type but let's copy the quantity from the sheet so you are going to copy the sheet um, we are going to copy the volume leaving the first level just paste as value and then what we have to do is this is the first activity as a foundation slab let's come to p6 uh, let's come to revit and then let's take a look at the volume so if we scroll where is the volume for this one So I have selected, you can see the volume is right here, 61.200 meter cube. So just for now, let's add it manually. So the volume is 61.200 meter cube. 61.200. And then from what I know, P6, P6 would not um, take values in terms of decimal. So maybe let's round it off. Let's, let's just keep it to see how it works. So let's close this. Let's come back to P6. And then let's do an import. Before that, let's come to resource assignment window. Let's create a filter, resource type labels, or uh, let's go to resource ID under our concrete mason. So if you see the value over here, let's search for concrete. If you look at this, right here if you see this arrow this is showing that this resource have been assigned to this project or this material resource or any resource has been assigned to a project so let's select so it is filtering this one so let's also add a column it says activity name we don't have activity name column over here let's add
Now based on the filter, what is showing that only this first slab has that material assigned to it. So if you remember, this is the one. Let's do an import Excel and load that material that we just created. So we have done only the material loading only for the slab now we have to do even for the columns and wall over here 